you go, Scruffy. Something warm to drink. Thank you, Penny. You do realise, Scruffy. There's nothing out there. It's just forest. No monsters, no scary things. You don't understand, Penny. You don't understand what's out there. It's scary. Really scary. <laughs> it's fine. Look at me, Scruffy. Penny. I hold it. Because what's in the forest is that scary. I can't cope with it. I can't cope with it. That's why I hoid. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologise. It's fine. I'll look after you, okay? still smoking. Yes, Brioni, I am still smoking and if you're going to moan about it then you can go, okay? How have you been feeling? Mind, mind. I'm fine, Brioni. <coughs> <coughs> that doesn't seem good, Mum. Is this the smoking that's doing the cough? It's none of your business, Brioni. I'm your son! It's my business, Mum. Wang Wang. It's all my business. You need to go to the doctor. Just leave it, Brioni. Why is everybody so pestering me? What do you mean? Who else is pestering you? You're dead. Oh. Wang Wang, I thought you got rid of him. I did. But he keeps on returning. Well, that doesn't sound good, Mum. You sounded breathless. My mum, maybe you should go to the doctors. Brioni? Stop it. Oh, that's a lovely photo. Bronwyn! Hmm? Who is it, Yuni? Is everything okay with... Brioni? I'm... Worried about him. I think he's just... Taken aback with everything that's happened with Mrs. B. I don't think he's coping as well as... I don't know. He just seems a bit withdrawn. He wasn't happy about me picking him up at the police station. I was, I was only trying to help, and he didn't want me to make anything, f you know, to eat for him. I don't know. Sorry, bro. You can get off. I'm just worried about Brownie. I'm worried about him too. It's okay, you know. I'll go in order. Hello there. Can I get um, hot chocolate and a coffee, please? Thank you. Mrs. B. Why did you want to meet me? You clearly don't believe me. I do. I think what Brioni's doing is disgusting and wrong. I do believe you. Oh, I can't tell you how happy I am to hear that. I just can't believe Brioni would do something like that. 
you're voting. But you've got my support. Thank you, Pooh. Thank you. Order up. Thank you. How much is the six pounds twenty? There you go. Thank you. There you are. Coffee. Hot chocolate for me. The worst that's out there, Scruffy, is a crow. But it's no. It's a real monster, Penny. It's a real monster. Oh, come on, you two. Try and help me here. What are we meant to do, Penny? She's clearly not right. Look, Scruffy, you are behaving a bit erratic. You're making yourself out to be crazy. Well, I'm not crazy. There's something very scary out there. They could kill us all! <laughs> Scruffy, calm down. Calm down. Now, as I said, there's only crows out there. And there might be a few animals. A few animals? Penny, I don't think you realise how dangerous the situation is. We need to get out of this place! I need to get out! Calm down! Right, Neil, calm. Do you understand? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't mean to be trouble. You're not any trouble. I just want to know... How did you end up here? On my mum and dad's property? Well, that's a long story. I'm more interested in what happened with you getting arrested. What, what, what's going on, Brownie? Well, my mum is Mrs. B. I was talking about Isla, you know. And she accused me of hate crime. Accused me of racism and... So I got arrested. She accused you of what? Maybe I'll just have to have a word with this Mrs. B. Mum, no! You'll just aggravate the situation. And anyway, I had words with her yesterday and, well, that didn't turn out too well. She's claiming that I attacked her, you know, sexually. What? But you haven't got a bad fluff in your body. I know! I would never do anything like that. But she's saying I did. And Pooh believes her. Pooh? Well, why does Pooh believe her? Wang Mang, I have no clue. But they seem like good friends. It's really strange. <coughs> <coughs> you can put on the kettle if you like, Brownie. Mum, you, you don't sound too well. Wang Mang. Do you think... Do you think Brownie did anything to Mrs. B? Of course no. Mrs. B's lying. It's clear. I'm not so sure if it is clear, Bronwyn. He's my dad. And I can tell you categorically that he done nothing. And I visited him at the weekend. And he told me what happened and it would appear Mrs. B's gone... Well, mad! Absolutely mad. Well, I suppose you're right. It's just a bit concerning, isn't it? Why? Why would she lie? Why would she claim that... Brownie did something so disgusting to her? Maybe because she's sick in the head? Yeah. Maybe she is. Sorry, Bronwyn, I, I, didn't, I don't mean to upset you. You're not upsetting me. I, I appear to be upsetting you, you know. It's okay. You can talk to me, despite what you've done. 
harder. I didn't mean to bring it up. It's just you did sleep with Woof. Everybody knows Neil. It's not as if it's a secret. Pooh, I'm assuming you think I'm telling the truth. And Brownie's lying. Yeah. I, I never really expected this kind of behaviour from Brownie. But I think you are telling the truth. And I just can't believe the way Brownie's went around this. It's disgusting. I just... When Brownie... He threatened me, Pooh. It was difficult. It's okay. I'm here to support you. So you don't need to worry. Thank you, Pooh. Everybody else has been so horrible about it. It's good to have somebody's support. Well, you have my full support. And I will go... Against Bruni, I cannot possibly commend what he's done. I condemn it, in fact. It's horrible. Thank you, Pooh. Thank you. Look, you two, can you keep an eye on Scruffy for me? Penny, I've had a think. And what if Scruffy's Roy? Roy? Yes, but what's out there? Scruffy's just feeling a bit unwell. But what if he's not? What if he's telling the truth? What if he's seen something? He's just psychotic, Harry Hippo. Psychotic. He doesn't seem psychotic. You can't tell if somebody's psychotic, Harry Hippo. Yes, but it seems like... He's genuinely scared. And to be honest with you, maybe we should too. Ah, you pull that's enough. There's nothing out there. Penny's right. There's nothing out there, Harry Hippo. You see? Well, that's two against two, Penny. It isn't a competition of whoever's out there. I'm worried about scruffing, Harry Hippo. That's all. Just worried because... There's something not quite right. Thank you. 
Hello? Broman, is that you? No, it's me, you know. Meals, what are you doing here? Have you been hoarding here all this time? For a couple of days now, keeping an eye on you. Don't touch me, what are you doing here? Get out of this heels! No! I want a few words with you, you know. After what I revealed to Browning, I want him to know if he knows the truth or if he's still in denial. <laughs> no, he can't know the truth. I would rather he stayed in denial. I would rather he stayed in denial. <coughs> Mrs. B, <coughs> what exactly did Brioni do to you? It's okay if you don't want to tell me, but I'm just concerned. He attacked me for my views. He threatened me. He said I should behave more like a woman and well, you know, adhere to my gender. And then when I refused, he... He attacked me sexually. I can't believe that Bruni would do something like that. But to be honest with you, he has been caught up in all this political nonsense. See, all I wanted, Pooh, was the better for everyone else. I didn't realise I would get attacked for it. No, I don't suppose you would. But I tell you this, Mrs. B, Brownie will pay for this. He will pay for this. Do a sandwich, Brownie. A sandwich? No, Mum, I've had something to eat. I want you to speak to me. I would like you to go, Neil, Brownie. But we need to talk, Mum. Tell me what's going on. And stop these cigarettes. I'm glad you went to the appointment to find deal. Did they book you another one? Yes, they're booking me in for breathing tests. Well, that's good. Was somebody with you? Woof. What, did? Hmm. Well, that was good of him to support you. No, it wasn't, Brioni. He was just there for his own gain. Mum, come on. Stop this. I love you, Mum. You, you need to stop smoking. I know, Brioni. I know. I know I do. Harry Hippo, what do you think you're doing? Penny. What if there's something out there? Really dangerous. Stop it. He's just making it up. Stop it, Penny. No, you stop it, Harry Apple. This is enough for this behaviour. There is no behaviour. It's... There could be something out there. And we need to protect ourselves. Well, if there's something out there, then why hasn't it came after us? That's what I would ask. Hmm? Yeah, I suppose. But I'm still frightened. Well, there's no need. Okay? Now come back inside, okay?